Money, Bad Boy JJP, Natty V Raps, and Lauren. Now, today we're going to be learning about Chapter 4. Let's start by classifying triangles. This is our free choice topic because it helps with the other topics in the chapter. Triangles can be classified by angles and by sides. By angles, a triangle can be acute, obtuse, equiangular, and right. In an acute triangle, all angles are less than 90 degrees. In an obtuse triangle, one angle is greater than 90 degrees. In an equiangular triangle, all angles are 60 degrees. In a right triangle, one angle is 90 degrees, and the two acute angles are complementary. By sides, a triangle can be equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. In an equilateral triangle, all sides are congruent. In an isosceles, at least two sides are congruent. In a scalene triangle, no sides are congruent. Equilateral triangles are also isosceles. If a triangle is equilateral, it is equiangular. The most important topic in this chapter is proving triangles congruent. We can use SSS, ASS, SAS, and AAS to do this. Let's do a practice proof. The given is that segment QS bisects angle PQR and that angle PQR is congruent to angle RSQ. We are trying to prove that triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS. Our first statement is just the given information, and the reason is given. Next, we can say that angle PQS is congruent to angle RQS because of the definition of an angle bisector. We also know that segment QS is congruent to itself because of the reflexive property of congruence. Now we know that two angles are congruent and the included side is congruent. Therefore, we can use ASA to say that triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS. Coordinate proofs are the hardest topic in this chapter because there are lots of things to remember. The first step is to locate the figure on a coordinate. It's easy if you can use the origin as a vertex, place one side on an axis, keep the figure in quadrant one, and use coordinates that make simple computations. Let's do practice coordinate proof to show that a line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side. Place a vertex at the origin and label as A. Use coordinates that are multiples of two because the midpoint formula involves dividing the sum of the coordinates by two. Our given is triangle ABC, S is the midpoint of the segment AC, and T is the midpoint of segment BC. The proof is that segment ST is parallel to segment AB. By the midpoint formula, the coordinates of S are B, C, and the coordinates of T are A plus B, C. By the slope formula, the slope of segment ST is 0 and the slope of segment AB is 0. Since segments ST and AB are the same slope, ST is parallel to AB. Well, I hope that was helpful. If not, go get yourself a tutor. I wasn't recording.